Blessed be everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking binding spells and I'm going to show you a really simple one. But before we dive into the topic, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com, author of Crafting Your Wiccan Path. And if you want to learn more about Wicca and witchcraft and craft your Wiccan path, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. And if you want to read my book, Crafting Your Wiccan Path, the link is in the description field below this video. You can get it on Kindle or paperback from Amazon. Now, binding spells are a part of the protection magic uh, genre of magic and they're very useful to help you protect yourself against an individual a group or an organization or an authority or whatever it is that is threatening you in a very serious way so when i talk about a serious way i'm talking about your livelihood i'm talking about your health and it might be the livelihood or the health of, of maybe somebody close to you that you want to do the spell for but this threat is a very serious threat to your to your existence and to to you so it's not about competition it's not about revenge it is about protection it's quite an effective way to protect some protect yourself without necessarily harming uh, the individual the organization or the group that you are protecting yourself from now when it comes to protecting yourself using a bind and it's a, an organization or a group it can be a little bit more difficult to have the the hold and the power because some organizations are so big they have very powerful egregores and it can be very difficult sometimes to be able to do anything against an organization but i have seen it done in the past and uh, so it does it does work give it a go i recommend you use a bind with another uh, other spells and that your bind is part of a strategy so it may be the beginning of a protection strategy it may be the beginning of some other form of strategy that you're using to uh, protect yourself in some way if you're going into a legal situation it would be part of a plan a spell plan to help you uh, win the case or to defend yourself uh, if the threat is um, threatening you legally so you want to use this as a part of a strategy, not just as a standalone thing. So all you need is some red thread or black thread, piece of paper and an envelope. Okay, so very, very easy. I do teach another form of binding spell in the Mystery Witch School 101 course, which is another binding uh, spell that I, I quite like and I find quite effective too. There's so many different ways that you can use binding. And the whole point of using these materials is to mimic what a bind is, which is tying something up and stopping it from being able to take action in some way. So it's called sympathetic magic and it is a correspondence thing. So as the thread is corresponding to the binding itself, the paper corresponds to that which you are binding. If you have a letterhead or a symbol of the authority or the organization or the group or person or whatever, whoever it is, you, whatever it is you're binding, uh, that's even better. And the envelope is what you seal it in. So the first thing you want to do is be specific about who or what you're binding. And if it's an if it's an organization then you may need to look at binding the organization itself as an entity in itself because it will be energetically there will be an egregore associated with it and perhaps whoever it is in the organization that is making the decisions so you may need to find out um, bind two things or three things you put uh, those details on this piece of paper then once you've done that, you decide what it is that you're binding them from doing. So you might be binding them from forcing you to do something that you don't want to do, that you feel uh, goes against your rights, your human rights and your ethics and your, your health or uh, whatever it is. 
you may, whatever it is that you're protecting yourself from, whatever it is that they're doing or potentially going to do or threatening to do to you that is dangerous to you, then that is what you're binding them from doing to you. So when you turn the piece, so if you write down here the name of that which you are binding, turn the paper around and then across the names, you will write down, I bind you from whatever it is that you're binding them from doing to you or if it's another person that you're doing the spell for on their behalf you put their name on it and fill that out all the way down you can do it i bind you a b c d e f g from blah 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 i bind you a b c d e f g from blah 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 all the way down the end of your paper once you've done that you then want to roll your paper into just roll it up grab your thread and as you're winding the thread around the paper which is your binding you just say your binding spell again i bind you a b c d e f g from blah 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 and do it for as long as you feel the need to do it a minute at the least then when you're finished just break it and pop it in your envelope now you can leave the envelope blank i've put the symbol of saturn on this envelope so you can use planetary symbols like saturn saturn is the great binder saturn is the one that constricts okay so using the symbols of saturn can help with the binding and help with the restriction then you simply seal it in the envelope seal the envelope and then put it somewhere and it doesn't matter where you put it because the bind is actually in the envelope so put it somewhere safe where nobody is going to pick it up and look at it or throw it out and then use a spell strategy to then help you with any other aspects of the situation that you need help with you may need to if it's a an employer for example you may need to look at okay maybe i need to go and look for another job somewhere else so you may need a strategy for that there may be other strategies that you can do within the organization uh, if it is something else there may be other options or other ways that you can deal with the situation maybe there's legal things you can do uh, maybe there there's help that you can get from other people and you can always do spell casting to help you along with those strategies as well but a bind is a good place to start so let me know how you go with your bind. If you want to become more strategic with your spell crafting, have a look at my Spellcaster checklist. It's a free PDF that you can get from my website. The link is also in the description field below this video. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. Blessed be.